Hello, my kings and queens, or shall I say, my queens and then my kings. So, today's video is very, very special. It is featuring Miss Jessie's. So, stay tuned. So, first, we're going to start off with Miss Jessie's leave in condition. It is so nice. It's a really nice leave-in conditioner. And as you can see, I'm just gonna smooth it all throughout my hair. And then after I use my hands to smooth it, I'm gonna go back with my brush and just try to make sure all of my strands have the leave-in condition on it. As I finish one side, I begin to start on the other, applying the leave-in condition again. Overall, the leave-in condition was a great moisturizer. It wasn't heavy at all. It was pretty light, and I was able to just go through and moisturize my hair with ease. both sides are done it's time to go in with the new product and it is going to be the curly pudding yes this right here was so so nice like it was really nice and smooth the consistency was really like pudding it wasn't like too thick but you can tell that it was there obviously and i was able to just sculpt my hair with it smelled really good and as you can see right here i'm starting to part my hair and prepare it for the ponytail and um i haven't had a side part in a minute so it was pretty exciting to see the nice curvature i also used the curly pudding to hold my hair down and i must say it was a good way to hold it Cause it wasn't nothing too hard or crunchy. It was a nice soft hold. Like all I did was apply it to both sides and a little bit to my ends or, you know, to the outside of my hair. And then I grabbed my brush and I went ahead and kind of sculpted it in the way I wanted to like smooth back into my side ponytail. It was very manageable and it wasn't too, you know, hard. It was just right. As you can see, it started off looking a little white within it, but then it eventually dried up or it just 
smoothed and moisturized in within my hair and you know change it back to looking regular just clear as my regular hair should Here I am sectioning my ponytail off into three sections and I begin to kind of braid my hair up. I'm not sure if this was the best method but this is like a method I've used before. But if you have any other tips on how to do this or what to do with your hair up under the ponytail then feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you. And I have the tracks that I want to use for my ponytail. I tried to get a color that was close to my hair color. It was really hard to find something close to my hair color. But um, I tried my best to get something similar. So now I'm just applying the tracks. And we're going to bobby pin it first and kind of wrap it around as I go. So at this point, I decide to go ahead and check out my hair and go ahead and brush out any kinks. And then I decide I wanted to go ahead and add another track. So there we go. Finally, we are hitting the buttercream. Y'all, this buttercream, it smelled so good. Like, it really smelled minty. It was a little on the strong side, but I really liked that. Like, the mint smell was really refreshing, y'all. And my curls, like, they really was going through my curls. It made it smooth and really refreshing. Like I said, like, ooh, it was so nice. And I was, like, I can't wait to use this on my regular natural hair because I just know it's going to work wonders. As you can see right here, I'm sectioning my hair off into three sections because I want to braid my hair up as I am getting ready for bed. Um, I don't want my curls to be tangled or just, you know, anything to happen to while I'm going to sleep. So I'm just going to go ahead and braid it on up. At the end, I decided to go ahead and flexi ride it just so I can make sure it's a nice little curl to the ends. So now I'm going to use Hold Me Down, Mrs. Jesse, you, you already know, and it is going to hold my edges down as I go to sleep and I can wake up with my edges slayed, okay? That's it for tonight. Peace. I am about to get ready to go to bed. I will see you in the morning. All right. Rise and shine, my kings and queens, or shall I say, my queens and then my kings. So 
I'm beginning by taking down my braid. I wanted to just take that down first before I take off my scarf. And may I reiterate that curly buttercream smells so good. Like, I'm loving the way it turned out and I love how I got the nice sleek look without having to have any strong like really hold or gel on it um the ponytail look really nice I was really admiring that like yes ma'am I was so happy with this side point so I'm telling y'all these products all work together in a great sync thank you for watching love y'all peace